Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Happy Saturday, episode 33, and a new industry segment, farming, which I love because I grew up on a farm. But what's happening with AI now in farming, food production, and distribution is unbelievable. And the story goes all the way back to the 1990s when John Deere and company tried to start developing a self-driving tractor. And 20 years later, they still aren't to a fully autonomous tractor, but they've made a lot of progress. And because they started back in the 1990s, they were way ahead of Tesla, Uber, uh, all the other companies that are working on self-driving vehicles. Deere was the first, as far as I know. Um, so here's what they did to start out with. They fixed it so that uh, a farmer would drive around the outside of a field to plow, for example, and the tractor will now automatically plow the rest of the field to the middle. So that is where that part of the technology is at. But even more importantly, Deere has partnered with a company called Tyrannus out of Israel, and Israel is a huge AI ecosystem. We'll talk about that. But um, Tyrannus is focused on crop management, and that's really where Deere has gone all in as opposed to focusing quite as much on the self-driving tractors. But the, the Tyrannus Deere technology has revolutionized agriculture. Why? Because it has made pinpoint management of crops possible. So what does that mean? The Tyrannus system will scan the entire field. It will locate places in the field where pests are attacking and what pest it is, or uh, plants that are too dry and need a little wa more water, or plants that are too wet and need a little less water, or pesticide application is now basically automated at the individual plant level. So this is a huge change. I mean, you guys seen in movies, all the stuff where you've got the crop dusters coming in to dump chemicals on an entire field, which is really toxic, right? And, uh, or the traditional tank fertilizer and pesticide spreaders, which just spread it over the entire field and saturate it. This is not what happens anymore. What happens in large farms where this technology has been applied is that plants are managed at the individual plant level. So what has that done? Well, it's dramatically increased productivity by roughly another 40% over the old methods. Uh, but even more importantly, right, it's really cut down on a lot of the toxicity in the environment in terms of pesticides. It's helped with pest management and crop yields. And it's also allowed the farmers to be much more knowledgeable and much more specific about how they manage their farms. Um, so... This technology, even though it's expensive, makes their farms so much more productive than it more than pays for themselves. And again, we're talking mostly about larger scale farms, but um, this company, Tyrannus, out of Israel, is now uh, has millions of acres of farmland under management in its AI database. And like all AIs, it takes time to learn, right? So when a farmer first get it, it takes two to three seasons for the AI to learn that farmer's farmland and crops he's growing, he or she is growing, um, and the pests in the area and all that stuff. But three years in, after it's learned everything, it's remarkably efficient. And Israel, I said we we're gonna talk about Israel for a minute. Uh, back in 2017, which was three years ago now, but pretty recent, um, Israel, the little country of Israel, had 430 AI startups and 17 what's called featured companies, which had mature technology and were probably somewhat government-supported, uh, but had 
major products that they've already rolled out using AI. And Tyrannus is heavy AI. It's deep learning. It's cutting edge technology. So uh, farming is really, really being revolutionized. And we're going to talk more about the whole food industry, including downstream with distribution and so on. Uh, but today we're just focusing on what John Deere and company has done, both on their own and in partnership with Tyrannus. So we'll be back for three or four more episodes on farming because this is a very interesting, very cutting edge, very cool area. You guys take care. Talk to you Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.